In this lecture, we are going to implement the functionality of making a login request to our backend application from our React application. So again, let's go to VS Code. And there, let's go to auth.js file. In this auth.js file, we are going to write the logic of making a login API call from our React application. So just like how we have created this sign up user function, let's go ahead and let's create and export a login user function. This function is also going to run asynchronously. So we are going to use this async keyword. And in order to log in a user, we are going to make a post request. And with that post request, we need to send a user object which contains the email and password. So here, let's go ahead and let's specify a user parameter. So for this function, we are going to receive the user object in this user parameter. Now inside this, let's add a try catch block. In the catch block, let's say while making an API call to the login API, if some error is returned, we want to return that same error from this login user function. So we are going to return that error, which we are going to receive for this catch block. But if the request was successful and we have received a response, what we are going to do is we are going to store that response in a variable. And here we are going to use await keyword. And again, on the Exios instance, we are going to make a post request because for the login, we need to make a post request. And there, let's specify the path of the post API, the path for the login API, which we have created in our backend. So that is again, API slash auth slash login. So this is the path of login API in our backend application. And with this post request, we are also going to send the user object, which we are going to receive for this login user function. Now, once we have the response, we are going to return the response data from here. So for that, let's say response dot data. Now, remember that this response is not only going to contain the response which we are sending from the backend. It is also going to contain some extra data. So we don't want to send the complete response. We only want to send the response data which we have received from the API. In case of a login request, we are going to receive a response, something like this. So we are going to receive this object. In that object, we will have message property, success property, and token property. So this object will be available in response data. And this is what we want to return from this function. And from this sign up function, let's remove this console.log statement. All right. And this is it. Let's save this file. And let's close this index.js of sign up. And let's open index.js of login. And there again, from within this function, first of all, we are going to prevent the default behavior. And also, this function should run asynchronously because from within this function, we are going to call this login user function, which is running asynchronously. Right. So again, here I'm going to create a response variable. And initially, I'm going to set it with the value null. Then let's add a try catch block. In the try block, let's go ahead and let's call this login user function. So here we are going to import the login user function from. So from the current directory, we are going to move one directory up. Let's move one more directory up there. We need to go to this API calls there. Let's go to this auth.js file and that file is also exporting this login user. So the name should be same. So here we want to get that login user and that should be assigned to this login user variable. Okay. Now let's go ahead and let's call that function. So in here, we are going to call that function. And since that function is running asynchronously, we are going to use await keyword before that because we want to wait for the response. And whatever response we will get, let's go ahead and let's store it in the response variable. Now, once we have the response, if response.status, if it is true, we are going to write an alert function. And there, we want to store the response message. But 
if the response is not successful then response dot success will be false in that case also we want to display the response message okay finally in this sketch block also we want to display the response message let's save this file now let's go ahead and let's test our login functionality so let's go to the browser there let's go to the sign up page let me also open developer console let's go to network tab let's clear everything here and here let's try to log in john smith so for john smith the email is john smith at gmail.com and password is test1234 when i click on this login button it has sent a login request and in there we have received this message request failed with status code 400 now let's see why the request has failed so let me open this request and in the response we have not received anything let's go to console and let's see if anything is logged here and it says the server responded with a status of 400 so we have john smith at gmail.com all right that's because let's go to the network tab again and here we have the login request but we have not passed any payload we have not passed any object so here when we are calling this login user there we also need to pass the user object which will contain the email and password right and that we are storing inside this user variable in the user state so let's pass that let's save the changes let's go back to the browser let's clear everything here and let's make the request again and now you can see the message user logged in successfully and if i open this request you see in the response we are receiving this message we are receiving the success property and we are also receiving the json web token in the response and using this json web token we are going to authenticate the user while making a request to the protected route so in this way we are receiving the response from the login api and our login api call from our react application is also working as expected now what i also want to do is when the user is logged in first i want to save this json web token in the browser's local storage okay so if response is success after showing the alert message what we are going to do is we are going to save the json web token in the local storage so here on this local storage i'm going to call set item there let's specify a name for the variable you can call it anything but i'm going to call it as token and for that token we want to store the json web token so for that we are going to get response dot data dot token and actually it is response dot token because the response which we are going to receive from this function from this login user function that is already response dot data so we are simply going to receive this object from that object we want to read the token and we want to assign it to this token in the local storage so here we are saving the json web token in the local storage finally what we also want is if the user is logged in successfully that means if we have received a success response from the login page we want to redirect the user to the home page and for that we can say window.location.href and for the home page the path is slash right let's save the changes here let's go to the browser and let's make a login request again so the user is logged in successfully when i click on this ok button it should redirect us to the home page but it has not done that and let's also check the local storage so for that let's go to application local storage there you will see this token is there and that json web token is saved in the local storage so 
the JSON Web Token is being saved in the local storage, but for some reason, the redirection is not happening. All right, I can see that here also we have an error. So we have already created this response. And then after that, I was again creating that response in the try block. So I have removed that const keyword. Let's see if the change is now. Let's try it now. So if I click on this login, we have this message user logged in successfully. Token is also saved here, but still we are not getting redirected to the home page to the root URL. Anyway, our sign up functionality is working as expected. Now in the next lecture, we will try to fix this issue of not navigating to the home page. But for now, this is what I wanted to implement in this lecture. So in this lecture from our react application, we are making an API called to the login API, which we created in our backend application. And when we are making a login request in the response, we are receiving the authentication token, the JSON web token for that logged in user. And we are saving it in the local storage of the browser with this name token. Now later we are going to read this token from the local storage and we will pass this token with other requests which we are going to make in order to access protected APIs in our backend application. This is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.